For the 2012 Marist College football team, it was a season of hard hits, record-setting performances, and big wins. years, head coach Jim Parody has been the Red Fox's mentor on the sidelines, building a program of success on and off the field. His 107 victories make him the winningest coach in program history, while his teams have also made history at the college. About everybody in this room, not one individual, but every single one of you in this room, together we go out, we get this thing together. Nobody comes into your house and takes anything away from you. Hell no! his watch, Parody has overseen the many transformations of Marist football. From a team that competed at the Division III level, he guided the jump to Division I AA, which currently is known as the FCS, Football Championship Subdivision. Parody has led his team while playing in the MAC Football League as an independent and now in the Pioneer Football League, playing a national schedule with teams from coast to coast in a league with an automatic bid to the playoffs. And during that time, the veteran mentor has earned league championships and coach of the year recognitions, all while maintaining high standards of integrity and sportsmanship for the student athletes under his tutelage. unit had an impressive year and set a Division I program record for total yards in a season with 4,359. One look at the season's cumulative totals shows the Red Foxes outscored and outgained everyone on their 2012 schedule. The numbers show that Marist outscored their opponents this year by 43 points, outrushed their opponents this year by 247 yards, outthrew their opponents this year by 15 yards, and in total offense, outgained their opponents this year by 262 yards. In fact, in Pioneer League wins over Davidson, Valparaiso, and Campbell, Marist racked up almost 1,800 total offensive yards, 550 against the Wildcats, 661 against the Crusaders, and 569 versus the Fighting Camels. Against Davidson, Senior wide receiver Michael Rios set a Marist single game record with 244 receiving yards and tied a program record with three touchdown catches. While junior quarterback Chucky Looney tied a school record with four touchdown throws and had the program's second ever 400 yard passing game. Against Valpo, Looney and Rios were at it again as the duo connected on a 97 yard scoring pass play, the longest play from scrimmage in school history. In addition, Max Jakes and Wally Anakoya each had 100-yard rushing days for the Red Foxes. And against Campbell, Anakoya pounded out over 100 yards in rushing, marking the fourth time in three straight games that he and her running mate Jakes broke the century mark in the ground game.
defensive unit was the number one ranked FCS team in the country in red zone defense. And ranked 12th nationally in scoring defense. Of the 40 times opponents got into the red zone, Maris prevented any score 43% of the time, allowing just 14 TDs and nine field goals on the season. On 10 different occasions, a Red Fox defender registered double digits in tackles. Mike Hageman and Paul Sikowski had multiple 10 plus tackle games. In fact, Hageman recorded a 13 tackle game against Butler and had a career high 15 stops versus Dayton. On special teams, Wally Anakoya averaged 20.6 yards on kickoff returns. Jason Myers made five field goals with a long of 40 yards. He and Jesse Signa were a combined 30 of 34 on point after attempts during the season. When the season ended and the numbers were added up, the Red Foxes were in the top three in seven statistical categories and were ranked first in scoring defense, passing efficiency, turnover margin, and red zone defense. When the individual PFL awards came out, 12 Marist players were recognized. A senior wide receiver from Miami, Florida, Michael Rios, Terrence Fede, a senior defensive lineman from Nyack, New York, and senior offensive lineman Fed Celestin from Brooklyn, New York were named first team all Pioneer Football League. In fact, Rios and Fide were two of only three players in the league selected unanimously. Second team honors went to defensive back Nick Monero and linebacker Mike Hageman. While seven Red Foxes, Anthony Kalkagny, Brandon Castlebono, Galvin McCoy, Nicholas Foster, Paul Sikowski, Nick Kazai and Jason Myers were honorable mention picks. A look at the season's final stat shows a number of Red Foxes among the league's best as Chucky Looney ranked first in passing efficiency. Michael Rios finished first in receiving yards and third in scoring. Mike Hageman listed sixth in tackles. Terrence Fade was first in sacks and fourth in tackles for loss. Well, Zach Adler was the league's interception leader, and Paul Sikowski ranked third in fumbles forced. Both Rios and Looney listed nationally in the football championship subdivision. The quarterback was fourth in passing efficiency, the receiver 11th in yards per game. Additionally, Rios, Fede, and Adler each earned Pioneer League Player of the Week honors during the season. And sophomore running back Max Jakes was honored as a selection to the all-academic first team in the Pioneer Football League and was a Capital One first team academic all district pick. On the squad, Calvin McCoy was the team's leading rusher with 582 yards and three touchdowns on the season. Max Jakes had 483 yards and five TDs. Chucky Looney threw for 2,315 yards and his 18 touchdown passes is a single season record as the junior is also tied for the most career TD tosses with 29. His favorite receiver was Mike Rios, whose 1,173 yards and 10 touchdowns are both single season records at Marist. His 17 career scoring catches is also the new program mark. And in addition, Rios now lists third on the all time career receiving yards list with 2,017 total yards. And he owns the program's first two 200 plus yard receiving games. Furthermore, Rios was the team's leading scorer, accounting for 60 points on the season. Defensively, Mike Hageman was the Red Fox's leading stopper with 88 tackles, seven tackles for loss, and three and a half sacks. Paul Sikowski was second with 71 tackles. Nick Monero had 64 tackles and eight and a half tackles for loss. While Terrence Fade stopped opposing ball carriers 63 times, including 12 and a half tackles for loss, nine sacks, and 22 quarterback hurries. Furthermore, both Hageman and Monero were selected to play in the FCS Senior Scout Bowl.
As the Red Foxes continue to build their program and rise in the echelon of the Pioneer League, it's the continued commitment of its players and coaches who make it happen. Like former Marist running back Brian Denebiel, who currently is a member of the Wyoming Cavalry in the Professional Indoor Football League. For those who have worn the red and white. To those who have yet to put on a Marist jersey, this program continues to make a name for itself on the football field and in the classroom, churning out not only student athletes, but men of character. This is Marist College Football.